ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for watching the show. This is your Top Think Tank's review. I'm your host, Bryce Dolan. Now, according to the Pew Research Center, in the wake of the 2016 election, everyone from President Obama to Pope Francis has raised concerns about fake news and the potential impact on both political life and innocent individuals. Some fake news has been widely shared, and so-called Pizzagate stories led a North Carolina man to bring a gun into a popular Washington, D.C. pizza restaurant under the impression that it was hiding a child prostitution ring. A new survey by Pew Research Center shows most Americans suspect that made-up news is having an impact. About two in three U.S. adults, or 64 percent, say fabricated news stories cause a great deal of confusion about the basic facts of current issues and events. This sense is shared widely across incomes, education levels, partisan affiliations, and most other demographic characteristics. These results come from a survey of 1,002 U.S. adults conducted from December 1st to December 4th, 2016. Though they sense these stories are spreading confusion, Americans express a fair amount of confidence in their own ability to detect fake news, with about 4 in 10 or 39 percent feeling very confident that they can recognize news that is fabricated and another 45 percent feeling somewhat confident. Overall, about a third or 32 percent of Americans say they often see political news stories online that are made up. While it is difficult to measure the precise extent to which people actually see news that has been completely fabricated, given that news, news consumers could see but not recognize made up news stories as well as mistake factual stories for false ones, these figures provide a high level sense of the public's perception of this kind of content. And some Americans say they themselves have shared fake news. Overall, 23% say they have ever shared a made-up news story, with 14% saying they shared a story they knew was fake at the time, and 16% having shared a story they later realized was fake. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this has become an epidemic. You can call it an epidemic because this is something that didn't really exist a couple years ago. It did, but it wasn't so widespread. It was more just satirical websites like The Onion. Nobody takes The Onion seriously. Everybody knows The Onion is fake. And those articles are somewhat, have some sort of humor behind them. But people are posting just outrageous fake news stories, which are now being blamed on the Russian hacks during the US election as well, or the they're calling them the Russian trolls, that had a part in playing in this fake news media during the election. But it just goes to show you that a lot of Americans really were affected by this fake news during this election. And even though if you feel confident about being able to tell fake news from real news, seeing those headlines, seeing those articles shared, and seeing people actually believe that, still put that seed in your mind about that fake article, but even though you don't believe it, it still put that title in front of you and you read it and it put it in your mind. So it had to have some sort of effect on, on Americans and it obviously has. So although a large group of Americans claim they can confidently see which ones are fake and which news is real, there is a large group of Americans who are confused by these. So ladies and gentlemen, if there's one piece of advice I can offer you is check your source. Don't just read the title, read the entire thing, read the URL, what the website is, what the title of the company is, have you ever heard of it before, is it legit, are there pop-up ads, are there anything else like that that's not on a normal media website like CNN, the Associated Press, NBC. You know, if you don't want to go to one because it's more right-winged or left-wing, who cares? You know that these media stations are legit. Just because it says the Daily American doesn't mean that it's right. Just because it says Daily and American doesn't mean they update their news daily and they're for Americans. It's a completely fake site, ladies and gentlemen, so learn how to determine what is real and what is fake. I encourage you to check out this entire survey results on the Pew Research Center website. 
You can find the link to the article directly below in the description. While you're doing that, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get notified every time a new video is posted. Give our Facebook pages a like and follow us on Twitter. But that does it for the Top Think Tanks review, ladies and gentlemen. I was your host, Bryce Dolan. Thank you.